Are you all right? Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer in Nigeria that is a part-time singer. So if you don't want me to sing, kindly subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Like this video also and intro. Damn man, I can sing. After I made my first video on Enake telling people why you should watch it, I got positive comments and I was like, okay, let's do it again. And if you've not seen the previous video, you can go and watch that video and come back and watch this one. Yes, sir. This episode was called Waiting This Up. This is how anyone that wants to beg you for food usually starts the conversation. Guy, guy, waiting this up now. No, don't give me get away from me. I'm not gonna leave my food. Leave my food. But this episode continues from the wedding proposal and Enake fainting just after Archie proposed to her. And the thing that shocked us the most about this scene was her dad. My guy was just chilling, chilling, man. He did not even check to know if she was dead. Damn, man. That's, that's a man right there. That's a man. She then went to the hospital and came back and as she was recovering, Achi comes up with this wonderful idea to give her the ring again. Because to him, a wedding proposal will heal her from a literal concussion. Yes sir. But after he left her, she then exposed herself saying that she's actually not in love with him and she faked the fainting. And I was like, whoa, that's why my guy was chilling. He saw through her concussion. What a man! Whoa! Then Evie, the same girl that is having an affair with Archie, said, If you are not in love with him, maybe you should call the wedding off. And we all know why she said that. Yes, sir. I know by now I probably have portrayed Archie as a good guy, but, but he's not. He's a cheat. He's a chronic liar. He's a beast. He's not a beast. <laughs> he's not a beast. <laughs> Hours after proposing to Enake, my guy was in bed with someone else. Normally I would hail him because that's what I do here, yeah, but. <sighs> Keep going, champ. I have to hail him. I'm sorry. But you know the saying every day for the thief, one day for the person that sleeps with the thief. It's online, don't even question where I found the quote from his online search for him. If he visits him with style, then complains to him that she saw the other girl that he just slept with, then actually did what he knows best, which is to lie. And the shocking thing about her is, he is her mumu button. She doesn't think straight once he starts lying to her. And it's sad because she seems like a wholesome person. But this time was different, guys. This time was different. She played dumb and after he left the room to brush, I'm not even lying, I'm not, guys, I'm not making this thing up. He actually went to brush because his mouth was smelly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! She then went ahead to crash the relationship by telling Enake that Archie is cheating on her with this lady right here. And I was surprised that Enake did not believe it. I don't even know where they found these girls from. To be honest, Nigerian girls are prone to think their boyfriend is always cheating. So I, why is it hard to make this babe believe? I don't even understand. But the reason Enake could care less about him was because she was in search for that same guy that touched her in the last episode. Let's just say he touched her good, good, yeah, good. And I can then ask this chick about him, but because she did not know his name, she tried to describe him, saying his arms were soft. And this lady was like, you know, that's like every guy in this building. Trust me, all the guys have touched me, so I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm joking though, she did not say that. She finally met him, but he came with bad news, saying he heard she was getting married. And that's what cheating people hate the most. When the person they are trying to deceive know that they are married, it spoils the whole fun, man. It spoils the whole fun. At this point, guys, I need to give you guys context. So the reason Achi and Enake are getting married, even though they obviously do not like each other, it's strictly politics. Her dad and his dad are actually the mastermind in this whole arranged marriage. And that only explains why he did not believe his daughter when she fainted. Because he knows, even if she died, the wedding was still going to happen. I have to say, one thing I'm looking forward to is Osage's arc or story because now he looks like he wants to kill Enake's dad just after his informant was killed in the last episode and he feels his secret has been exposed. And the sad thing about it is that his wife is the brain of the whole 
concussion. So guys, tell me down in the comment section your expectations and if you want me to keep reviewing this local telenovela. I'm currently watching this on African Magic Channel 151 every day by 8.30 p.m. So yeah, join me so you won't be left out in the next review. And also, what a man. Clap. You guys, what a man.